All right, students. Uh, so today, in the previous uh, lesson, uh, we talked about the variables, independent, dependent, and controlled vari constant variables, and uh, how to interpret the information there. So um, today, it's going to be taking that data and then drawing conclusions, or what's called data analysis. So I'm going to go through a couple of examples here with you, and then uh, we'll have some sample questions for you to work like we did uh, yesterday. So, um, so I have a set of data here. In fact, this is the same data that I started with yesterday um, in the beginning slide as a lesson. So um, we have all of these. Um, so we have this information. So we had seed type, temperature, water, they give per day. Uh, so those things were all the constants because they stay the same for each of the different groups. So the group is a row. Um, then sunlight is varied. So that's our independent variable, our manipulated. So they actually went all the way from zero sunlight all the way up to 24 hours a day. So they must have they must have probably used some sort of a lamp to give them different amounts of sunlight. And then they added 10 grams of soil or um, fertilizer to the soil before they planted every single one of them to treat them all, excuse me, equally. Then after 30 days, they measured their heights. So we wanna then use um, this information to try to draw some conclusions. Um, so we might, as we look at things, as we increase the sunlight, yeah, it looks like uh, everything kind of went up. Um, uh, another kind of question that I could kind of ask you is that let's suppose that um, I would have given them six hours of sunlight. So in between here and I ask you to predict how tall they might have been. So I would expect you, since uh, six is kind of halfway between there, that you would probably predict about 15 centimeters would be the height. Um, if I asked you another question, said if you double the amount of sunlight, does it seem to double the amount of the, the double the amount of growth. And you might say, well, gosh, four to eight, um, it went from 10 to 20. So yeah, that pretty well supports that. Let's see if we go from 12 to 24, we went 30 to 50. That's not quite double. So it doesn't really support that hypothesis exactly, but it's similar to that. So those are the kind of things that I'll ask you to do. Um, so here's another, uh, some sample questions or some sample um, that I may ask you. Um, if I chart that data, so I have hours of sunlight, and we always put our independent variable along the x-axis, and the dependent is along the y-axis. So we're always, what we're measuring is along the y, and then our hours of sunlight, or the amount of water, or uh, the number of beans, all those kind of things go along the y or the x-axis, the horizontal. And I put the data over here, Just uh, I just put in the independent and the dependent variables, so we didn't have all that extra information. And I might ask you, which line, one, two, three, four, actually represents this data the best? Now notice I didn't put numbers along here, and that's okay, I just wanna know the overall trend. So if I looked at the overall trend, so he says, as we increase the sunlight, so as we move further to the right on this axis, so as we move to the right on this axis, it really goes, you know, this one was dead, so it's, you know, no growth, but it gets higher and higher and higher. So let's look at what the different lines do. Let's look at what line number one does. So line number one goes up for a while. Yeah, that's what we want, but then it starts to go back down. That's not what we saw in the data. So we don't think it's, it's line number one. Let's look at line number two. Line number two shows that the less sunlight, so if we give it zero sunlight, it had really good growth. And the more sunlight, it actually went down. So if I'm following this line along, that's kind of the opposite of what happened. So we know that's not the line. Let's look at what number three is saying. Number three is saying, as we increase the sunlight, so as we move further to the right, what's happening to plant height? Well, not a whole lot of anything. It's pretty much staying the same. Is that what our data is showing? No. So this is not the correct uh, line. Now let's look at number four, and it must be because that's what we have left. But what does line number four show? As we move further to the right, this is increasing, 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 and increasing. So this is definitely the line that shows this graph, this data, the best. Something else that I might ask you is um, those, those statements we were making yesterday, those as-then statements. So here's the conclusion that I was hoping to find. So this is kind of like my hypothesis. Now we're saying is that conclusion. Does the data support this conclusion? As sunlight hours increases, plant growth will increase. Does the data support this? It certainly, it, it does. So as we increase more and more sunlight, we definitely see an increase here. So this is supported. So we would, we would say that supported, um, we generally never say that our hypothesis is wrong. We just say that it's not supported if, you'd have, if you have a case where it is not supported. Okay, so don't say your hypothesis is wrong. 
because maybe if another data set would be proven correctly. This is just for this one individual experiment. Okay, not that scientists don't want to say they're wrong, but um, you need lots and lots of data to actually disprove something. So, um, so those are the kind of questions I'm going to ask you in today's quizzes. Um, hopefully that is helpful to you in this data analysis. Um, some of the tougher questions really do become, um, if I ask you these numbers in between, um, you know, making predictions. Um, so um, hopefully that was helpful and uh, continue on in the quizzes and do your best.